guys, how's it going? So, for our next project, we're gonna be, I'm gonna make my own glue for it. Um, it's this really easy glue, it's called wheat paste, and it is just two ingredients. It's flour and water, and then you heat it up in a pot um, and just let it get thickened. So this is like a, a cooking technique. It's called making a roux. If you use an oil, like a butter and flour, it's called a roux. But um, for printmakers and artists, we call this wheat paste. It's really good for um, putting paint, like sticking paper together. It lasts a really long time. Or this is like a cool way that graffiti artists will use to put paper onto buildings because it's um, biodegradable and it's really good for the environment. So um, let's get started. So we need two parts flour to three parts water. So I have this little measuring cup. I'm gonna get three of these of water. Be right back. Okay, super easy, right? All right, I'm gonna move you guys so you can see what's going on. So I got my, my little stove here. I'm gonna turn the stove on. And I'm gonna get two of these of flour. One. Two, that's it. So you can use, at this point, you can use a fork or a whisk to whisk all this stuff together. I'm just gonna use a whisk, because I have a whisk handy today. Um, and all you wanna do is you wanna mix all of that together. And it's gonna look really pasty. So if you look inside of here, it's really just like a pasty mess. Um, and now what you wanna do is, is, this is not safe. What you wanna do is you wanna heat this up because the wheat, and the gluten from the the flour needs to like heat heat up and then create like a glue. So what happens is the water gets absorbed by the flour, and then it turns into like this really gloppy mix, which is good. So I might need some more water. I might not. It doesn't take very long. You gotta keep stirring really quick. Nope, this is gonna be good. I might need more water. I don't know. Oh, so I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it's definitely thicker. It smells kind of like a really bad pancake. It smells like a pancake that doesn't have anything in it. Okay. You should wait. You should have bubbles. It should boil. They, they should it's a boil, right? Boil. But boiling is a a relative term because this isn't really going to boil. It's more like a pasty boil. So it's really important that you are stirring all the time because this can really easily burn and then it's no good. Don't want any clumps in there. Clumps are bad. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, just a little bit. I added maybe maybe like a third of one of these things. Just a little bit. Back on the heat. I think we got it. Yep. Yep, that's it. There it goes. All right, so now it's really chunky. I don't know if you can see that. It's like really gloopy now. This is perfect. So now it's, it's really tough. You can tell that it's like almost, it's really chunky. That's perfect. That's going to be good. So see how like elastic-y that is? It's like super gluey. So now what we can do is is I'm gonna put this in a container, like a Tupperware or a bag, and then I'm gonna save this and um, use it as my glue. So I hope that guys helps. I'll see you guys later, bye.